today we're going to be looking at our company's office search add-on for Dynamics 365. This add-on gives us the ability to view real-time data from the company's office while we're searching for a company. This ensures company names are captured accurately in, in your system and also gives you the ability to view and pull through that data into your company record once you've selected a value. So we can see here we've got a new account record and we've just got this account name field which is the out of the box account field, account name field. And if we click into there, uh, you'll see it tells us that we can search the company's office. And if we just type in a value as we start typing, you'll see it starts searching and we get some results straight away. And if we just continue to keep typing, we'll just continue to get a more filtered list until we find the record that we're looking for. So you can see here we've got four records now matching the query that we've put in. Um, and you can see We've got a little bit of information about each one of these records so we can see uh, the status whether they're registered or if they've been removed we can see their nzbn number for each of those returned companies and we can see the date that they were registered so that's just a little bit of surface level information about those companies so that we know we're picking the right record and if we just pick one of those records so if we pick magnetism solutions limited what we'll see is it'll pull through the name and we also get a couple of other things pulled through um, from the company's office so we can see all the things like the NZBN number, the trading name, website, GST number, registration date. So all this stuff's pulled through uh, real time from the company's office. And as you can see, some of the fields like the website, which are using the out-of-the-box website URL fields, um, registration date, which is a date type, and our company status, which at the moment we've just configured with registered or removed. So those are pulled through as well. Um, if we wanted to configure that list a little bit further, there's a bunch of other um, statuses that the company's office returns. We can also see things like the phone numbers. So in this case, we've only got one number pulling through. If we had a couple of others, then those would be populated as well. Same with the email addresses. And the address, we have a postal address here that's pulled through all the different fields and an office address, uh, which is also pulled through those fields. If we were to do a search for a company that doesn't exist, say we typed in something like magnetism, um, with a couple of S's at the end, so we know that doesn't exist. So we just get a message there to say that company is not found. Uh, and what we can do then is if we select that option, what it will do is just pop open uh, the company's office search page. And we can see that uh, we're now performing a search for that string that we used. Um, and if you want to refine that at this point, then you can see exactly why those results um, didn't return anything. And you'll see if we just type in another name, say we uh, do another search for magnetism and we just pick a different different magnetism this time. So we pick this one that was removed. When that updates, you'll see it's pulled through the, the directors as well uh, at the exact same time where it's pulled through all the other information. So that custom script will fire and we can pull through uh, additional information from that company's office API. If you'd like to know more about this product, please get in touch or go to our website, magnetismsolutions.com.